quite possibly my most frequently asked question this season. How in the world do I protect my hair while swimming? Well, if you're a novice swimmer or someone who swims on occasion, you'll be okay just going in the water like normal. Just be sure to wash and condition thoroughly after. But for those who swim competitively, often, or just want that extra bit of protection for their beloved strands, here's what I recommend. First, I start out by spraying my entire head with water. This makes it easier for me to split my hair into two sides. Then secure one side out of the way. Okay, on to our free side. Split the hair into a top and bottom half. And we're gonna work on the bottom half first. Soak that baby. Be generous with your water and spray the heck out of your hair so it's nice and drenched. Then work the water through so every strand is wet. Okay, so most of you know that I only cleanse my hair with a mud wash, no shampoo or conditioners. But the only time I'll abandon my mud wash is when needing to protect my hair from chlorine or salt. So grab the cheapest conditioner you can find, one that's the most natural preferably, if that's important to you of course. I'm using Trader Joe's Tea Tree Tingle Conditioner from Trader Joe's stores, which runs about $4 and leaves the hair nice and soft. Squeeze out a generous amount and apply it all over the section. Use as much as necessary to make sure every strand is coated. And don't forget those ends. Okay, remember the hair and body oil? Oh yeah, we're gonna add that too. This is gonna help lock in that moisture, and since water doesn't penetrate through oil easily, will further help to protect the hair when in the pool or the ocean. If you haven't made this oil mixture, no worries. You can use any oil you want. If all you have is olive oil, throw that on. And make sure to apply it to every strand, from ends to root. Okay, so now we've conditioned and oiled. You can leave the hair out as is if you like to swim with all your hair out, but I twist up the side to get the hair out of the way and to help avoid tangles while I'm swimming and playing in the water. If you swim competitively, you'll want to twist up your hair so it fits better under your swim cap. So now we're twisted. I'm going to wrap it into a bun to get it out of the way while I work on the other sections. And don't worry, that white conditioner color will go away after 10 minutes. Moving on to the next section and we're going to repeat that same exact process. Drench hair with water, work it in, Coat the hair generously with conditioner. Coat the hair generously with an oil of your choice. Twist up the section. Then wrap the hair into a bun just to get it out the way while you move on. Now do the same thing to the opposite side, and when you're done, you'll have four twists. Or, if you decided to leave the hair out without twisting, you're done. For those who decided to twist, you can style those twists however you want. I just throw them on top of my head and wrap them into a top knot bun style, securing with bobby pins. Again, if you're wearing a swim cap, you'll want to secure your twist lower on your head so the cap fits and you don't look like a cone head. Cool, we're done. Now go get out there and have some fun. After swimming, make sure to wash your hair as soon as you get home. Since you've already twisted the hair into four preconditioned sections, this part is a breeze. Just give those twists a quick rinse, and working one section at a time, release each twist, rinsing more thoroughly. Give the section a once over with whatever cleanser or conditioner you use. I'm of course using my mud wash. Rinse that out. And I like to finish up by sealing in the water using my hair and body oil mixture. Work that in, then twist up the section, wrapping it into a bantu knot just to get it out of the way while you move on to the next section. And that's it! Repeat the same process on the next three twists. When you're done, you'll have four conditioned and detangled sections, and from here you can style the hair however you want. So no need to be afraid of swimming this summer. Get out there and have some fun. I hope this helps. See you next time.